Another day, another time we on the grind. Welcome back, Thoughts. Today, we're going to get into some Twitter situation that uh, I was basically witnessing. Um, ha- well, it didn't happen live, but basically, I was just going through Twitter and came across it, and it was just so good. I had to I had to give this man a shout out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Daquan Wilshire and the DSG. You know what I mean? I've been watching them for a very long time, and it's always good to see people with like a balanced mindset get these W's. So we're going to go over it, give this man some props, and uh, I hope everyone's having an amazing Wednesday. Make sure you're working out, make sure you're growing, make sure you're becoming a better person, and uh, let's get into it. I got all the keys. All right, so pretty much this is how it all started, right? On March 6th, my man Daquan made this tweet. He said, nigga called me a simp because I said respect, decency, and not being overly sexual. Oh, it's my bad. Overly sexual will get you far with women. I'm starting to see why they say men hate women so much. Then under this, right, this person pretty much tweeted this and said, he, <laughs> he bit his toe. He said, I got a voice note saved to my daughter saying, daddy, can you pick me up, please? From when she was three, I play it every time I'm trying to leave a bitch crib. They think it's the cutest thing ever when they hear her voice, LMFAO. She bought, she about to graduate middle school, right? So he tweeted this, and under the tweet, he said, why are you like this, LMAO? He said, because they're dumb enough to believe it, LMFAO. And here's the funny part. People thought he was talking about the females he was relaying this to, when in reality, this tweet in, in itself was just, it was a joke. It was dumb. It was just to be funny. Again, Twitter is not meant to be taken that serious sometimes. When you're saying blatantly like, you know what I'm saying? Blatant stuff, right? It's like, okay, you take that serious. But like this, he's not targeting anybody. He's not saying anything about anybody. His daughter isn't even about to graduate middle school, right? His daughter's like seven. Like, have you been watching him or known about him? Like, you would know his daughter's like young. Like, she's there's no way she's in middle school, right? So it's like, obviously, it's a joke. And the, plus, this tweet was tweeted back like last year, right? She tried to bring this up in the conversation and try to make it seem like, oh, like, uh, um, because basically he was saying that, you know, he respects women. Right. So she's basically going to say this is a tweet basically saying you don't respect women. Right. So in response to that, when you go back, he basically says, I'm going to re- respond to this. And you got to watch this. Responding to this the same way you respond. Because uh, my, my man went in. My man went in. We got to give him his props to this. Let me go ahead and preface it with this. No, you did not strike a nerve. I'm responding to this the same way you responded to my tweet, except for I'm a content creator, so I'm responding in video format. And y'all are very fucking annoying, so this is the first time I'm actually even doing this. Secondly, of course, I'm broke, I got a little dick, I'm an incel, and uh, I'm gay, and if you can't come with any other response, then you'll say that my hairline's receding. Okay, now that we got that out the way, let's get to it. And of course, I forgot to mention, you're gonna say that I'm not gonna listen to all of that, or I didn't even listen to all of that, so there's that too. There's nobody in this world that hates Hey, I just want to keep that in mind. Keep what he just said in mind, because this is the second time he foretold the future, like just knew it was going to happen. Like, that's crazy. If you're in an argument or in any sort of debate or anything, and you literally say what that person's about to do and they do it like, I don't know, man, like your, your points are pretty valid at that. And, and in my opinion, but we're going to continue. Black men more than. Go ahead, finish the sentence yourself. You came to my page and you saw this tweet about respecting women. And the first thing you thought is I have to find something negative on this guy. Now, although the tweet that you quoted was fake and I'm going to explain it. Do you not realize how much it says about you and how miserable your life is to see a tweet about respecting women? And the first thing you do is go to the guy's page and try to disprove that he respects women. Now, look, I tweet for my community. I don't tweet for attention because y'all motherfuckers on Twitter are so annoying. Like, I literally hate, I will delete tweets once they leave the target audience. And y'all be like, oh, we got him to delete. You didn't get me to delete shit. Y'all are just so fucking annoying. Now, this is what I mean about me tweeting for my community. Y'all people on Twitter believe any and everything that you see. My community knows me. I said in that tweet that I had a voice note from when my daughter was three. She's about to graduate middle school. My nigga. If you can look through my page and find a tweet about that shit, you mean to tell me you can't look and see that my seven-year-old daughter can't graduate? You tell me when have you ever seen a fucking seven-year-old freshman, you stupid motherfuckers? Then when this girl responded and said, why are you like this? I responded because they're dumb enough to believe this. Y'all think I'm talking about the women that I may have pulled this stunt on. Motherfucker, I'm talking about you stupid motherfuckers on Twitter. Y'all are dumb enough to believe anything. Bro, I remember about the time when I was a teenager and I'd be at a girl crib and I'd tell my niggas, yo, call me and tell me I got to pick you up from work so I can lead it crib 
And then I just switched up the words in the tweet. Then you got this bitch ass nigga over here quoting me talking about some, this shoe, yes it's me nigga. Now what, where do we go from here? Then for the few bitches that want to respond and say he don't, my bad, my bad, I do respect women. Then for those two bitches that want to respond and say he don't respect women because he calling them bitches. Bitch, I don't give a fuck it up, bro. What the fuck is you talking about? Y'all bitches call each other bitches. I call bitches bitches all of the time. I don't give a fuck. Then the thing is, y'all said, oh, he got a daughter. And you don't think I think if my daughter ends up like one of you Twitter bitches, a nigga probably gonna call her a bitch. And for y'all in the comments saying he just gonna block her, you damn right I am. The fuck is you talking about? I'm a sassy ass nigga, man. Fuck this bitch. You think I ever want to see this bitch on my page again? Because the only thing she gonna do is look for something negative regardless of what I say. That's the reason why I blocked like half of Twitter the other day. Like, I literally hate y'all. But y'all don't understand. Like, all you random, I fucking hate you. Alright. So now that we watched that, right? He put that in response. So keep in mind, the first thing she's gonna say is, I'm not watching to none of that. You tweeted it and I never forget. What you doing is pandering. Now before I respond to this, let me he, The first thing he said in the video was you're probably not going to respond to this or you're probably not going to watch this video, but again, this is for my community so it doesn't even matter. He's going to And the first thing she's going to say is I'm not watching none of that. Bro, what? <laughs> Yeah, why? You need help? You need help. You need help. But anyways, all right. So yeah, pretty much to wrap this up, um, I wanted to bring this to light because I feel like there is a lot of women out there nowadays that are kind of in this mindset. You know what I'm saying? That I get it. You know, a lot of guys aren't shit and a lot of people in general aren't shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you have to not have this mindset applied to a gender or a group of people. You know what I'm saying? That's how these random and stupid biases come about you know it's like you you have to take each person you meet as a new experience you know what i'm saying they might have similarities related to other people of your past but they're still a different person you know don't put them in a bubble you know what i mean it's so crazy that he literally like called her out and knew she was going to do this because again she wasn't trying to hear it like she had so much hate in her heart that she just from whatever trauma she's had in her past that she just man womanizer all black men are womanizer it doesn't matter like I guess, but you know, again, praise to all of them. We're gonna get or not praise, prayer to all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because again, uh, we pray for all of, all of Jesus's people out here. Um, wish them the best. You know what I'm saying? Again, shout out to DSG and, and Daquan, man. He deserves that, bro. Like that man is up next. Like he really finna blow up because again, like that man has been providing such good content for such a long time. I've been watching that man since he had like under 100k. You know, like that man has been doing really, really good for a really long time. I think he's really underappreciated. But again, like I think eventually the algorithm will start to favor people when other people get, you know, kicked out the limelight and whatnot. But again, bruh, watch out for that man. Follow that man in DSG if you haven't. Um, you know, again, if you haven't worked out today, go ahead and work out. Drink your water. Do your thing. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Happy uh, Wednesday. You guys have a good one. I will see you guys in the next video. Die from the buzz, die from withdrawal, die from the high, die as you fall. This shit a joke, it ain't funny at all. Don't believe.